Hey everyone, today's video I'm going to show you how I use parallel compression on my drum mix. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a auxiliary, a stereo auxiliary bus. And the way I do that is I hold down shift, command and N for new. And then I'm going to change my track from mono to stereo and then from audio to auxiliary. But the way I do this is I hold down command, I hit the right arrow, I hit the down arrow and then I hit enter and that creates my auxiliary and let me just change the color real quick here and then I'm going to label it and I'm going to call this crush because I'm going to crush the snare here and I'm going to show you that in a few minutes all right let's route this right now this crush or this auxiliary is going out to my main bus but I need to route my snare top my snare bottom and my snare sample to this bus so I'm going to click on the input I'm going to go to bus, go to my next available bus, which is three and four. Click it. Then I'm going to right click, rename it, and I'm going to call this crush. Now I'm going to route these three to this. And the way I do it is I use sends. So I'm going to click snare top, hold on shift, click snare bottom, snare sample. Now I have all three of them selected. Then I'm going to go to my first available send right here. And I'm going to hold on alt shift click go to bus crush and that selects all three or, or it creates three cents then over here I'm gonna to have to put it to zero or unity so still holding on alt and shift I'm gonna click and then if I go back over here just to confirm I hold on command I hit the little arrow and now I can see a small mixer view here of my sense. And you can see that all three of them are in unity. So I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna close this out. And now my snares are routed to this crush bus. Awesome. So now if I hit play, I'm, I'm just gonna mute it for a second. If I hit play and then I'm going to unmute it, all it's doing right now is just, it's gonna get louder because I haven't done any processing yet. So, uh, just take a listen. And you can see that I'm, I'm clipping here. So let me just click that to get rid of that. All right, and now let me start processing this snare. I like to process the, or crush this snare just by listening to it by itself. So I have to do a couple of things here. I have to mute my drum bus. And remember, I'm sending, from my previous video, you know that I send all my shells to my drum bus. So you're gonna see my kick in, my snare top, snare bottom, sample, my three toms are all going to this drum bus, but not my cymbals. My hat, my overhead, and my room are going straight. So if I mute this drum bus, now you're just gonna hear the cymbals. And the room, of course. So I'm just going to mute the room, the overhead, and the hat, and now you shouldn't hear anything. Even though you see the meters moving. All right, so now I can work on my crush. So I'm going to unmute, hit play, and all I'm going to hear are the snares. Okay, great, so now I can work with that. So let's crush this thing. And I'm going to use my SSL compressor. Then I'm going to use a preset, or I start with a preset, and I go to pump, get rid of this analog. I'm going to bring this down but you know notice that the makeup here um, is loud so let's just default that and default this also and let's hit play and then what i want to do is i want to crush it and I, I like to do between 12 and 16 db um, so i can get that snap take a listen Okay, so you hear, like you just hear that that snap, like that, that it just really cuts through and it's in your face. But of course, because I'm doing so much of gain reduction, I'm doing about 12 dB of gain reduction, the volume of it went down. So I have to raise up or make up the volume. So I, and remember when I use plugins, I like to level match. So then I can hear what the plugin is doing and not kind of get fooled by just something being louder. Okay, so let's try to match it. So now if I bypass, you're going to see the levels over here. Okay, it's hitting about there. Now if I take this off, okay, you see the levels there. So that's what I have to kind of make up the difference.
Okay, that's pretty good right about now. So let me just bypass this and let's take a listen. So now I just do a couple of other things to it. I like to saturate it. So I'm going to use my Phoenix by Crane Song. But if you notice, I already have one here. So I can do a couple of things. I can just go to it and open it there. Or well, a shortcut is just to hold on Alt, click and hold, drag it, and make a copy of it. But then if you do that, what happens is that the settings stays here. Now, if you to default this, there's different ways to default it. The way I found or the easiest way or what I use is just see what says factory default here. I click it twice and it defaults it. One, two, yeah, and everything defaults. All right, so now let's process it about half. Okay, let's bring this down a little bit to level match again and let's hit play. And then finally, I like to just use this Okay, let's see where we have it. We have it at three. That sounds about good. Maybe I'll bring it up a little bit more. Let's see. So let's do it before and after here. So let's bypass all of them. All right, so you can hear the difference there, but obviously it's too loud. So what I like to do is with the parallel compression, I just want to tuck it in. All right, so let's do that now. So I'm going to now unmute everything. I'm going to bring my crush all the way down and I'm going to slowly bring it up. Okay, so you can hear it. Okay, usually I land about between nine and 10, but you just wanna bring it just enough that it's right underneath it. You can hear the difference, but it doesn't make the snare louder. We can also go back to our bus and make sure that we're not hitting more than two here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, so you can see that the buzz is kind of taming it a little bit. As long as you don't go past 2 dB here, that's good. So it's not like really loud, but I can probably now go back and do a quick remix or maybe just bring up the kick a little bit. I may bring up the kick, maybe just a dB. So you hear how the parallel compression there is just really like in your face and it's hitting really hard. And that's all I do, just three plugins here. And that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm not finished processing the snare, but in my next video, I'm going to show you how I use reverb or plate just to give it a little bit more body and definition and it helps cut through the mix, especially a dense, like modern hard rock or metal mix. Like that's very dense. There's a lot of guitars, bass. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on. So you really want that snare to cut. And I'm in, in the next video. I'm going to show you how how I do that. So if you've been following my videos, you notice I've been going through a process, and I've just been focusing on drum mixing. And basically, if this is the first time you're watching this video, you can go back to my previous videos, and I'll put a link down in the description, and you can see how we got to this part. All right. So if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. It helps me to provide more content. Also download my free multi-tracks and my free template. You know, so you can also be on my email list and then I can um, you know, send you uh, more free content. And then I will let you know when I upload new videos. So I really appreciate it. I thank all of you for watching the video and I hope that I am providing value to, to you and, and your mixing journey. So until next time, happy mixing.